This video shows the Damascus Garden, one of the largest San Pedro collections in Australia in terms of plant mass. This is just a quick walkthrough I had to film on my phone because I had some problems with my camera, but just by looking, it isn't clear how many seed grown plants there are in the Damascus Garden, and the owner doesn't remember how many they originally planted. The planting is about 20 years old, and a few years ago, my friend Halcyon and I catalogued all the different Trichocereus there and put them in groups based on appearance and some of the knowledge we'd learned about the garden. In the Damascus Garden, there are three unique Brigesii, Twinny, Twinkie, and Jaws. There's the Macrogonus Beast series, which includes Halcyon Beast and FPP. Some of these have the best tasting San Pedro fruits I've tried and taste like coconut. I think there are about 15 unique clones of these. There's the Pakanoi Booyah series. We reckon there's a minimum of six seed grown plants, probably more, um, but these are pretty much impossible to tell apart by looking at them. I haven't analyzed any of these plants, but this Booyah series has been reported to have quite a low mescaline content, and that makes up for the bulk of this collection. There's the Peruvianus Paul series, which includes St. Paul and Bouyer, and there's roughly about 20 different clones of these. There's the Peruvianus Paul Cross Macrogonus Beast series, and there's about 10 of these. There's an unknown Trichocereus species, it's somewhere between a Peru and Macrogonus just by looking at it, but we call it the Tall Blue Spiky series, and there are about 15 of these clones. Originally, there were also about 10 mature seed-grown Teroshekii, um, but a good number of these have left the collection. In this walkthrough, I focus on my favourite plants in this garden, which is the Beast series and the Tachimbalensis series. The devastation you can see is the product of a fungal infection that seems to thrive in hot, humid conditions. Lots of people have this in their collection, but on very hot days at Damascus, it spreads quite fast and rots weak plants. It's really sad, but the strongest plants live on and show some really impressive resistance. Oh, this guy. This guy's sick. Oh yeah, they're, they're, they're the, that's the Beast series. They're, um, they're awesome, they're some of the coolest plants in this collection. Yeah, they really stand out. They're like much, because a lot of these clones are like the same ones, but those ones, they're all unique. Almost all of them. And that's where I'm coming. You're in the right spot. Some of these fucking spine. Look at that. Look at that. Absolute weapon of a thing. That's not so exciting down there. But these are awesome. Yeah, exactly.
we still haven't seen so we've seen the tuckwin balensis which are some of my favorites that i pointed to you but the ones that you said you like there's a bunch more from the same seed pod that are my favorite series that you haven't seen yet which is where we'll go and go now Oh wow, look at the stump. Beauty. Yeah, they look cool, right? Oh, decimated. Oh, yeah. Oh, this guy's nice. Beautiful. Yeah. If you find one that has a, that you like, that has a fruit, then definitely. And if you're curious in trying one, then you should just eat it. sick this guy this is a winner look at that 